Be black. Yay. That was like an imaginary rainbow <laughs> that just came out of your light skin hands. I don't, I don't agree with that shit. The beige rainbow. Right. It's like the earth tone <laughs> rainbow and shit. So. How's it hanging, sir? How's it going? Um, I'm not shut down. What do you mean? Well, funny story. Like, I did something I never thought I could possibly do. Oh. I went two months straight forgetting who the president was. Oh, shit. Like, I literally forgot everything politics so today mm-hmm. i hear oh yeah government shutdown could possibly happen i'm like shit and that that's you still you work with the government yeah so i was like government shutdown could possibly happen <laughs> this actually yet yeah, today it was supposed to happen today oh, yeah so they sent him a 2000 do- page document right? he, he's not reading that <laughs> wait 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 wait. he is a 2000 page yeah. document so i was like okay because when i think of shutdown i'm just thinking of congress and whatnot i literally forgot who the goddamn president was for a shit. while so i hear his name i was like oh shit he's yeah. the president <laughs> so i was like damn it so they had their agreement in place today. Everything was signed up, ready to go. Signed, sealed, delivered. He just had to sign it. This yeah. motherfucker had the audacity to read 2,000 pages. <laughs> <laughs> he read the 2,000 page document. He's just being a cunt. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm not mad at him he, because. He takes the pencil and goes yeah, line by line. Sorry. Because I was raised to believe that if you're going to sign something, you better know every fucking thing in the document. So this dude had the audacity to go on Twitter. Right. $1.86 billion is going to this wall, but it's not really going to the wall. Mm-hmm. What's up with that? I, I, I got nothing for that. <laughs> In, at the t- twilight of the afternoon, because I was shocked it didn't go to the 11th hour like the last two did, he signed it, no shutdowns, hip hip hooray. Moral of the story is I really need to catch up on politics. But you know what? Not knowing about politics feels very fucking good. I mean, it, it lowers, I guess, that um, it's that societal kind of stress or pressure, anxiety or whatever. Because it's always that question of, fuck, this guy is inept. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. Yet he's fired everyone and all this different shit. I'm- and... It's like, how am I going to get fucked over here? Yeah. Like, whether it be from taxes, whether it be from home ownership, whether it be from potentially a war or some shit like that. Oh, yeah, we're definitely and, going back to war. But it just allows you to have this constant threat of just living in, like, a nice baseline level of anxiety and, mm-hmm. and stress. And, God damn it, what the fuck's about to happen, you know? Yeah, that's, that's where I was at. I was like, I wasn't paying attention to anything. I literally was just focused on work, school, and really that's it next yeah. thing you know i wake up i was like donald trump what are we talking about donald trump for <laughs> <laughs> i see the news i was like he's the president of the united states and then my sister was like yeah where have you been for the past year yeah i was like away from fucking cnn and fox <laughs> see, like, like I, I was watching some of uh march madness game uh mm-hmm. i don't i don't really follow college, college sports too heavy but i was watching the kansas and clemson game Yep. Uh, the one to five game, but in the commercial caught my attention. It was um, Anderson Cooper was talking to um, Stormy, oh God. whoever. The Stormy thing. Daniels. And it's just like, yo, but me and my coworkers were talking about that. I was like, we can't get a perfect porn star name for a uh, assailant in our <laughs> in our sexual scandals. Like our porn star will probably be Drizzy Daniels, Drizzle oh, Daniels. No. Like she'll be drizzling. She's not a storm it'll all be, the way. It'll be Chippy D. Chippy D. Can I just get burn. what about caramel tits? Like I oh. feel like that would be perfect. <laughs> <Careful. That's> a, <laughs> so it's a fucking So I saw I saw this meme that relates to the Stormy Daniels thing that I thought was kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Uh person was like um so uh, Trump paid 130000 essentially for a couple blowjobs, what have you. Jesus and, Christ. Like, Clinton got his for free. Who's the better businessman? Clinton. <laughs> this shit was hilarious. He still kept his wife, too. <laughs> right. This is like, uh, yeah. Yeah. You have um, Trump Jr. Like, was he, the, he was fucking a playmate, right? No, that was like Arbery O'Day from Danny McCain. Really? That's the story, yeah. Wow. She really was damaged. I don't, I don't know that reference. I'm sure it was one of their songs, maybe an album. It was a song. It was that, like their hit song. That showed y'all forgettable the anime. Well, they were show stopping. God damn it! You gotta know these. 
D Damn Woods? you. Was that a song? Oh, no. Was D Woods a person? D? D Woods? D Woods was a thing of person. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I, I, I never listened to it. Everything from like that period that had any Diddy stink on it, I didn't deal with. So this is like 2005? Yeah, it was like making the band. Your point? So you missed the day 26 and all of that wave. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> he was like, that Diddy Dirty Money. I was like, like the fuck is this? <laughs> It's like day twenty seven. <laughs> it's like, look, nigga, it's, God damn there's you! There's no month that has only twenty six days. So I don't care. Speaking of music per se, what have you been listening to lately? Yeah, I ain't gonna like what I've been listening to. I mean, this is a little bit of a departure from what we were talking about last week. Is it Takashi Six Nine? Uh, I'm played the fifth on that. Oh Jesus! I, I like the song Billy. I'll admit, I, I'll go on record saying that. You mean the one was like get the spiffy yo? No. No. Which one is that? It's it's really it's like Onyx to me. It's like old Onyx. You um, know what? I actually was getting that vibe from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, this is weird because I like the music video where he had all the bloods in the part, like the little stairwell. It's probably that video. Yeah, actually. and he, they are all just dancing. That one pimples. dude's like this. It's all pitbulls in the video. <laughs> no, but um, he's just, no, like, God. him specifically, he comes off like a gimmick. Like I was, I listened to. Well, a few you this. did hear about what's going on with him, game. Uh, yeah, Jay Prince son, which by the way, that's not a good look to do. Do not mess with Jay Prince family. <laughs> I mean, do not come for the Prince it's family. Also, the guy that's managing him doing all this talking, from what I I saw. Well, I think it's both. I thought he said something when, while going to L.A. saying "suck my dick" X Y and Z and all that. And I'm it's, like, yeah, you don't. Do that. It's going I other guess, places. I guess it's wild, but it's to your to your question. Yeah. Uh, I've been listening to classic rock, dude. I haven't touched any rap music or anything that falls. Has it been Aerosmith? Fuck no. Good job. What, what class? What define classic rock for me? I listen to a lot of prog rock. Okay. So this would be like Kansas uh, ELO. Um, huh. Kansas ELO. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, those are the main two that I've listened to a lot of. Oh, Scorpius as well. Scorpius, okay. Yeah, I have like a coast to coast because it's an instrumental. Mm-hmm. Very strong. I gotta hear that. Yeah. Uh, Last rock group I heard was Incendiary. I don't know what that is. Oh, I know what that is. Yeah. That's the band that did the uh, Alistair Blackstein. Blackstein song. Yeah. That was a That's great thing. They fall to the hardcore band, yeah. Yeah, I like the theme they do. So, what? What in, in terms of like. That genre, like, what do you look for? You listen to classic rock. Classic rock. Um, because you're 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 a music guy, man. You like music. You yeah, like music. I mean, I hope everybody likes music. There's people who don't like music, and, and they, that kind of weird. Well, yeah, I always put the same thing. Like, there's people I can't trust. I can't trust people who don't listen to music because that shit wears me <laughs> like, out. Like, 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 like I, just imagine you walk to someone's like, so do you? Like music? <laughs> yeah, like, can you ask that question? Because it shouldn't be a real question. Like, I, I can't trust people who are disgusted by porn. Like, right. that's a weird thing to be disgusted by. Like, no, it's just it's just on camera. Oh, quickly, like, you can dance without having a little alcohol? <laughs> I, have a, I have a major <laughs> issue with people who are in movies, and the movie does not have music in it, and they want them to dance. Like, have oh, you ever saw the no. outtakes for, like, Coach Carter? I've never seen that movie. Jesus uh, Christ. They have a scene, right, where one of the guys is, like... <laughs> just, just with the mustache. I, so, they have a the scene, right, uh-huh. with the guy in it. And the guy's just, like, dancing on the wall. Like, he's twerking the wall. But there's no music in the background. So, they're just dancing. They have, like, wireless earbuds or something? I, no, it's nothing. Like, know, he's just... And you know that one what's you got served and that one dude who looked like Jermaine O'Neal and he's like in every, <laughs> I hated that every black film. Like every can you imagine every black film there's always like three big stereotypes in the early two thousands. It was the Jermaine O'Neal looking dude. Jesus. It was the white girl who had the fucking Kango and like the <laughs> long <laughs> <laughs> she grew, she her younger sister was in those busy videos. Yeah, and then you always have that classical rap song in the background. Jesus, classical rap. Yeah, like they tried to do the do 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 
<laughs> and it's like it just doesn't fucking work no it doesn't <laughs> none of these tropes work see, in see, films. The, the trope from the early 90s because he popped up in so many of these fucking hood west coast movies would have been caffeine yeah you remember he got stomped out and what was it like boys I mean, a menace to society I believe. yes he did get stomped and then he out got stomped out. They, they spoofed it and don't be a menace <laughs> he just stomped it to the yes <laughs> and his run was so weird it's like you know he what? He used to rape this in fucking um, Players Club. Yep. He was the shitty brother. He was a shitty brother. You know what else? The Hispanic guy. Rick Gonzalez? <laughs> no, not Rick Gonzalez. The one who always plays a Hector in every fucking film. Uh, Hector. You remember? Is every that like a Spanish heckler? Yes. His name is Hector in every film he's in. <laughs> you know, listen to what I just said, though. <laughs> I know what you just said. It's <laughs> a Spanish funny. heckler. <laughs> he's like, El ha Your jokes are bad. El ha <laughs> Like, he's always that trope of a gangster, like, Hispanic. Oh, shit. He has too many tattoos. Yes. Every film. He's getting those Danny Trejo kind of kind of roles. He was Danny Trejo in early 2000s before Dr- Danny Trejo became Kitch. Danny Trejo again. I was going further back. I was thinking Danny Trejo and Desperado. Oh. Forgot all about him in it, right? No, I love that movie. It's a fucking great movie. And uh, Sandra Samurai. Bullock. I'm mean, Selma Hayek. Yeah, get that. Right. Get that. Sorry. Because it's Selma. Yes. Not Selma Samurai. Hayek. Yeah. Yeah. What's that movie? Just, Just Before Dawn. Tits. Yeah. 10 on 10. That strip scene. 10 on 10. Glorious. And then Britney Spears ate that shit. I fucking hate that. Because remember Snake, right? Yeah. My ish, the only thing I wish I was, I was Tarantino and I had the foot in my mouth with the alcohol going down. You going to punch the mic again? <laughs> Do you want the foot in your mouth? Okay. Look, the foot in my mouth. Tell me more about your foot fetish. Hey, look, look. We that's something yeah, that can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. No, we should. Should we? Yeah, like, we no, we will. no. We will I, I mean, that. look. I do have a foot fetish. Go Spoiler on. alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> let's, let's go to the finish. <laughs> <laughs> go to the finish. Like I'm attracted to nice feet. I hate feet. And I like foot tattoos. Nicely done foot tattoos. I hate I, those as well. Really? I. If I could, I would take a saw and I would be dating Curry Ells. You're a fucking monster. That's why. Maybe. I'm, I'm a, I, don't I, I like good art and I like. Feet are not art. No. Nicely done feet are art. Okay. And so what, what would you consider a nice tattoo to put on the foot? Mm, basic flower. Like a nice <laughs> developing so tulip flower. <laughs> so I know. Look, man, I can't really think. Like a. I seen one girl had a koi fish on her foot one time that I dated. Uh-huh. That was nice. I thought that was nice. Was she proper skin color to have that koi fish? Was she Asian? Is that no, no, what you're no, saying? Me? Proper skin color that. Yeah. Like, yes. Yes. She was definitely cause, cause the koi light. Fish is orange. Yeah. She was definitely light enough to have it. You know, one tattoo that I hate. Go ahead. A titty tattoo. I agree. I hate nipple tattoos. I. Those should not exist. They're the weirdest shits I ever oh, seen oh, in my entire oh, life. Like. Yeah, nipple piercings, especially when it's cold outside. Uh, no, no ass tattoos. I'm talking about you, Juice Robinson. <laughs> Damn, don't do that to Juice. You've seen this shit, right? I have no. When he was wearing a regular tights, he would get the hungry bum, and you would see it like mid match. If someone's grabbing the tights, it's like right there. Jesus cheek, Christ! So. <laughs> it's like a teddy bear or some shit. I'm like, oh. well, he is sponsoring the Hello Kitty shirts. I can't bang with it. Oh god! I can't bang with ass tattoos, man. I don't want to. Uh, I mean, I feel like that's okay in a strip joint. Like you can see it there, and you be like, "Oh, you know, that's nice." <laughs> you got an ass tattoo. <laughs> no. <laughs> you be like, "Oh, who's your tattoo artist?" Dude, dude, that's a good conversation starter in a strip club. Question: Would you run from quicker, tattooed knuckles, tattooed face, or tattooed ass? Tattoo face. Okay. I'm probably gonna go with knuckles. Knuckles. Yeah. I mean, we can all. I mean, you can have tattooed eyebrows. Yeah. I know people who tattooed eyebrows to look like they actually have eyebrows. Exactly. That's very scary. I remember when I was younger, because uh, I had like relatively like long eyelashes, mm-hmm. and it was this chick who didn't have any real face facial like hair, like eyebrows and shit like that. Uh, this broad reached over. She was like, "Oh my god, you have such pretty eyelashes!" He started fucking flicking my eyelashes. I was, I was like, like twelve. I was like, I know I need an adult, but I'm too afraid to ask for one. 
I remember one girl who had a face tattoo that was trying to talk to a friend of mine. That was the scariest experience I've ever seen in my entire life. Because they, depending on what the face tattoo is. It was they, a tiger. <laughs> Where was the placement? It was a tiger right on her face this way. So she was like a thundercat? You remember how Samoa Joe's penis tattoo looked? Ah, ah, ah. It's yeah. like she had the tiger going right here. And the tail was just like dipping it under. No, the tail was up top, but the tiger's head was coming here. Jesus. You get those in your arms only. <laughs> I don't want to want that on any part of my fucking That's body. Bullshit. She's got <sighs> Shere Khan on her fucking face and shit. <laughs> and you are not, you're not Mowgli. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, so to, to your music, we, we deviate. <laughs> So music. Um, what, what have other, I been listening? Yeah, what other to? tunes are you you into? Like in, in a sense, right now, what are you marking out for in terms of music? In terms of like pop culture? Mm. Right now, currently, music wise, I've been listening to Prime Two, which I need you to listen to. Uh, it's a great album. I like it. Uh, it's Royce. Uh, he's kind of old now. Don't do that to Royce. I, I can't listen to rappers over a certain age. I hate you. I, I, I'm serious about that too. Cause soon as they have like a sus so bar, you, well, you can't. You haven't heard Fonte's new album, then. Who's Fonte? <laughs> Ever heard of Little Brother? Yeah, I have, actually. Yeah, you know the good rapper in Little oh, Brother. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Fonte. Actually, I think I downloaded an album from him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which one? Charity. You probably downloaded Charity Starts at Home. How how many years ago is that? That is 2011, sir. Probably, yeah. Yeah. I like his new album. I was digging into crates more then. Oh, yeah. I like his new album. Even though I'm shocked he didn't have Knife produce one song on it. I don't know what that is. Either. Knife Wonder? Oh, Knife Wonder, gotcha. Yeah. I call him Knife because I don't like saying Wonder. It's kind of... I have an oh. algorithm with names. Like, I don't call Puff Daddy... Da- Puff Daddy... I call I, him Brother Love. I refuse to... <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to call somebody by daddy at the end of the day. Like, I call Trick Trick. That fat nigga at the eyeball call him up like it's cracking daddy. <laughs> and he was, responded. So that was you. <laughs> but you were trying to say, like, some 1930s guy going into a jazz bar looking for heroin. <laughs> How do you know I wasn't looking for heroin? <laughs> I hope you were. You drop these pounds, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new diet, man. Fuck it. New diet, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I got that rice for you with some good heroin. It's just Rob. You had a thing for the needle. Oh, you need that crack rock, don't you, baby? Nah, crack rock is different. That's that's not a classy drug. That's not a classy. Nah, crack, oh, crack I'm sorry. Classy. You need that needle, don't you, baby? You need the needle. Oh yeah, got some cigarettes in the back for you too. I'm filthy, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> so what else uh, you listen to? Uh, Bishop Nuru's album. I hate you. I would think because of I'm not really these guys aren't as mainstream as I would think. Uh, it feels like I'm talking to a hotel brother. Yeah, you are about rap music. Jesus, but go on. This R&B singer named Raven Lene. She's working with the internet. Steve Lacey. I know Sid from the internet. Five she had reasons. a pretty good album. Five reasons. Well, she had a good album. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's what I've been listening to musically. Mm. Pop- so, so music is out. Go. On. So, pop culture-wise, it's literally just been Atlanta. That's it. I've been marking out for the fucking Infinity War trailer. The well, yeah. Trailer. We need to talk about Deadpool 2. Jesus. Um, Atlanta's been really good. Um, the Michael Vick episode had me. <laughs> that shit was the, funny as hell. That Michael Vick episode had me. I was watching it. I was like, yo. They are like, Michael Vick is racing. I was like, they ain't got Michael Vick in this That's episode. That's what I said. I was like, oh shit, Michael Vick is in the episode. This nigga just racing in the parking lot. I was like, where's Bone Crusher? Yeah. Well, his wife was the one who hooked it all up. So, I was like, oh. And he wasn't cooning in the parking lot. Either. No, he wasn't. He was just literally racing. But it was and funny. Then Donald was like, "Oh, I got gotcha. you." It was funny. Like I was talking to my girl about it, and we were describing like because she she thinks I have a lot of similarities with the way Ern is depicted in the show. I've been told I'm Darius. You might be Darius. Jesus. It, it's like some type of cross between Ern and Paperboy, but no one's affirm anybody on there. So I wish you know what? It's funny because Paperboy does the most craziest shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
in the most logical way. Yeah. And I like, damn, Paperboy's like the smartest person in the damn show. Right, right, right. <laughs> so fucking when when the whole money situation came up and it was just like, what's up with all this extra extra level bullshit? It was yeah. Like, hey, you want these ones? You got to exchange this for this. And I was like. For that one hundred dollar bill, right, right. he was like, "Yeah, give it up to the man in the back. He got a." <laughs> I had two one hundred dollar bills in my wallet before I came down here. I exchanged some shit to my house. I was like, "These are turning the twenties." Yeah, do shit. yeah. And he was like, "Yo, I just saw you get money for that PNC bank." You were like, "Nigga." <laughs> the fucking, the fucking guy, right? Remember he was in line and um, he has the hundred. He's, he's like, "Oh, we can't change that out." The white guy just turns yeah. it up, and he just rolls. He's like, "Hey, man, this guy, he just shows him the gun." <laughs> yeah, shit was funny as I was like that VIP bullshit. I was like, yeah, I've, that happened to me before. But each each time, like even in the first season, when he's on a date and they kept trying to upsell him on shit, he's like, you're fucking my shit up. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I've been in that spot. Did you watch the last episode? What was the last episode? The, I, didn't, I didn't see the one from this weekend. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. The last one I saw was the, the one with the club. Okay. The club. Yeah, I've caught up with Black Lightning. I love that I've show. I've watched one episode, and I know. I, I'm, I'm ashamed because I love. I, I may show. may catch up with it, but it's like it's like. Here's the thing: when you mark it out to something, mm-hmm. like I've not seen Defenders. Uh, I've not seen the Defenders. I've not seen. Uh, I've seen one episode of Current Justice. I don't season. blame you for Defenders because I absolutely hated. Now I've just been def- been behind on everything. Well, yeah. Have you caught up on Punisher? I haven't watched any of that. Damn, I need to catch up on Mr. Robot too because season three I've been hearing great stuff about. And I've not even cracked it. I only watched one episode of season three, I've and I was trying times. to watch. And I enjoyed. Nothing wrong with that, yeah. Um, it's one show that I think you might like if you like horror, mm-hmm. but it's super fucking weird. Uh, channel Zero. Hmm. What channel? Uh, sci-fi. I made to check that out. You heard of the creepy pasta stuff, right? Yeah. It's basically a show based off creepy pastas. Huh. So okay. It's pretty interesting. It's uh, a yeah. portal. The currency is a portal that uh, leads into like a town where everyone is like cannibals, mm. and uh, everyone's deformed as well. It's strange. Rucker Howard is like the main character. Rucker Howard, I, yeah. you got me now. I'm watching it already. God damn it! The, the first season. Love was, that man. The first season was like the cove and it had like the person made out of teeth. Huh. It was pretty gnarly. Second season, I didn't really watch too much. I couldn't get into it. Like Slender Man and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I watched it. I still haven't watched Riverdale yet, and my sisters aren't in love with that show. Speaking of your sisters, how are they? They doing good. Next topic, you know, Deadpool so back to two. Back to feet. Back to Deadpool two. Okay, so Deadpool two. Uh, I had issues because of the. Oh boy. Shoot issues because they had shoot issues reshoots. Okay. Now, I panicked on the reshoots, and then I realized the reshoots were only, like, six days long. So, I was like, oh, was I'll bet. Yeah. So, it was, they're saying it's a secret cameo going on, which a lot of people assume is Logan. I think it's Juggernaut. I heard someone else. I forget who it is. Uh, but no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Fuck, the trailer. Why the fuck is Tracy Terry Crews in this movie? Terry Crews is Bedlam. He's a guy that, hold when he hits he people... Quickly? No, this is like Fuck. the this is the X Force. We're getting the X Force. Like they're you they're doing what yeah they're doing what we all feared in the first film. Feared. Yeah, I was I, I'm that. not. I want the X Force. Like the X Force is my favorite version of X Men. Oh God, go on. I'm only afraid on how they set up a universe in a film. Sometimes. All I know is this. Because sometimes that takes away from the film. That's my only issue. In, in doing, I think the third movie is going to be an X Force movie. Yeah. That's what's, what's, well, what's Drew that. Goddard is directing the X Force movie. So I was like, I'm down for it. But notice the thing as far as like the Avengers trailer, going back to that a touch, mm-hmm. or even touching on that, trailer was great. I really dug it. Steven uh, Anthony Rogers, what the fuck are you doing trying to fight Thanos? I saw like the say. fact that the movie is rated R, so someone's going to have their fucking head ripped Wait, off. Wait, it's rated R? Yes! Wait, really? So he said it's not yet rated, but he said based on some things that they've seen, it's likely going to be rated R. Also based on the success of Logan and Deadpool. Oh. So. I can't imagine it being rated R. Have their well, yeah, like somebody's that. dying. Right. Well, horribly. You want to go over your over under count on who dies? Go on. Let's, let's do this. All right. Thor. I, I'll give the person, you give me the over under. Over under? Yeah. Uh, 
Seven five. Whew. All right, Rogers. This is very likely. <laughs> this is like super likely. Six to one. Ooh. Uh. Tony. 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 Five to ten. Wow, it's like 50 and 50. 50 50. Uh, I feel like he's got to be a Guardians person. Like Drax. It's not going to be anyone bigger than Drax. Maybe Drax or Groot. Zero. I don't think any Guardian. Nebula, maybe. Nebula has the highest chance of nine. What about Mantis? Mantis ain't going to die. She just got there. Your point? Well, she was useless in the second one. They, were, I felt she bad. She was only in the second one. Well, yeah, I mean, I felt bad because they really made her like some object. Like her abuse story was like their comedy. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> She's like, I've been used by ego the whole time, and then dead fucking Drax is like, you're hideous. You're fucking hideous. I think I think it's gonna be a wrap for him because of, because of sheer age on it. Oh, Batista. Because he's like 50? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Batista's again. He's kind of get tired of putting that paint on. I think Iron Man might be gone. But we know Steve is gone. Because mm-hmm. he announced, like, he's done after the fourth event. He's done. Yeah, so he's not dying in Infinity War. Yeah, so. Unless they kill people off and then they use the time stone, the reverse time. Because rumor, and bring rumor everything. has it, I was reading, um, rumor has it that it's going to be major people that are dying. I think and a lot of people are going to die in this film. That they're bringing in people that aren't in the movie. So, like,. Ant Man, Wasp, uh, I think Adam Warlock. I heard Captain Marvel might be making it. I heard Captain appearance, Marvel as well. But I heard they said they're gonna bring in a new special character. I'm hoping the god is not fucking Sentry. I hope the god. Create fucking, oh, 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 they're just bringing a character. They're not creating a character. No, okay. Sentry is Sentry's Marvel version of Superman. Thumbs down. But. He is a blonde hair, blue eyed version of it's Superman. Master Race. So if Superman he's, is Jewish, <laughs> he's the full Aryan blood version of Superman. God damn it! We got. However, he's. I would say he's just as strong, if not powerful, than Supes. The only issue is when you see Sentry in a comic, mm-hmm. three things is bound to happen. One, you're about to go into a series run full of bullshit because Marvel. <laughs> When Marvel movies do well with events, mm-hmm. Marvel comics is the opposite to me. Mm-hmm. Like, their events can go really good or really fucking bad. Example, World War Hulk, great Marvel event. Yeah. Bad example, Civil War Two, absolute bullshit. Oh, right. Um, right. Two, he's going to die. <laughs> he dies in every event. Damn. Three, he either... Actually... Either he dies or he runs away. I just thought of Because one time he got in the comic, he was like, okay, I'm just way too powerful for this universe. I need to go. I'm way too powerful for this shit. So. Yeah, so he basically wrote himself out the comic. Oh, fourth wall. So, um, yeah, fuck I, that I, dude. I, thought, I thought of someone, actually, that mm-hmm. we haven't seen in a while. Silver Surfer. He's still with Fox. Stranger things have happened. Um... Yes and no, because what Fox is doing right now, Fox is Fox is petty. They're just sitting on the character then. Well, Fox, yeah, Fox, is, what they're trying to do is Fox is trying to put out all the movies at once. But here's the thing, he hasn't been in anything. They have to lose the rights to that. Cause well, yeah, because seven years passed, but they're saying now since they're going in production. Yes. Cause, what, like, uh, because that, seven, yeah, because seven years you have to wait seven years till you can use the character again. But mm-hmm. since they said we're making a film in production, boo. yeah, fucking boo, <laughs> yep, so, they're yeah, dickheads the for that. Of the silver like, but they could possibly do it because X Men is gonna be is beating is gonna beat Marvel to using the scrolls. Can. Could there be like an off-brand like Silver Surfer, like the Sterling Silver? Sterling Sword. Or stainless steel surfer. The Silver Surfer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, want that. I want that to happen. The stainless steel surfer. Yeah. You know how crazy that sounds? He's not on the board. He's just like on a skateboard. He doesn't fly. He's just on the ground. He, he's ground but it's really fast. Stainless so. steel. You had to get the um Oh my god, just imagine clean- if like Stainless steel, like fucking the Shag. Oh fucking my movie. god! But they couldn't get Shag. They had to go to a lesser town. Let's Elden not. Uh, oh. They got Elden Campbell. Elden to Campbell role. to play the role. Why don't you just get Kobe and call it a day? No, you actually have to get a talentless a, player. Jesus. Yeah. Blood Rice. Get Kwame Brown. 
Jeez. Quali Brown got nothing to do. I mean, he's doing what? The big three? He's just Give him a ranch. movie role. He's just chugging ranch dressing. Look, my man Stephen A. Smith said it best. Kwame Brown is a scrub. He has small hands, small feet. He can't rebound. Kwame Brown. I can't quote Stephen A. Smith. I love it. Like, his rants on Kwame he, Brown is gold. He's deep cool, though. <laughs> he's yeah. deep cool, man. He is. He, was, he doesn't give a damn about the black community <laughs> until Michelle Beadle says something and then he has to talk about it. But that's a different yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. So you have, you have movies? Mm-hmm. What, any other movies that are popping up in your mind? Like, what, what genres are you a fan of? Because that's another thing. Um, every genre, really. really? Yeah. Uh, I, I I know that's a cliche answer. I like romantic. Foreign romantic. Yeah. Like subtitles. Yes. You're full of shit. No, I'm not. Oh, go ahead. I'm listening. Um, what's that Japanese snuff one? Films. No. That's just everything. What do you mean by snuff? Like softcore porn or porn porn? Like snuff that someone dies at the end. Like the movie Eight Millimeter, like like Fruitvale Station. No, like it's sex, but someone's getting murdered at the end. Oh, someone's being snuffed out. Oh, you mean like Twa? Sure. Yeah, that's sorry. Those are I'm talking fine. About, like, the real films, not like not the black straight the BET films. I'm talking about the real ones that you're not supposed to find because they're actually someone being murdered. Oh no. Ah, uh, all right. Go Never on. saw those. Huh. those. I'll send you a web. I'll send you a few links. Interesting. I don't know if I want to see that. I thought you were. In. I thought you were going with nymphomaniac kind of films. No, that's no. a that's an art movie. That was a very weird art movie. Because the guy that directed, he kind of hates women, allegedly. Yeah. Well, usually when I hear titles like nymphomaniac slut dot, part it was two. Parts. I always state they hate women. It was that movie. It was two parts, right? Yeah, it was. And, and Shia LaBeouf was in the first one. It had unsimulated sex, so it was actually yeah. real fucking on that set. Yep, on Mo- both. Both films. Movies that have that in there, they kind of get that stink on it. Like, you ever heard of The Brown Bunny? No. It's a movie that came out like in 2003, I believe, that was directed by Vincent Gallo. Uh huh. And he gets a blowjob at the end of the movie from uh, Chloe Severnier. Huh. That shit fucked up her career because, uh, like, she catches the fucking. Was it like Elizabeth Berkeley Showgirls' career ending? Um. No, because it like it didn't really end her career, but it, she should be a lot bigger. She was in a movie, I mean that TV show for years uh, with Bill uh-huh. Paxton um, about like the sister wives and all that fucking show on HBO. Ah, uh-huh. so but in that she literally catches the fuck. Big Love was the name of the show. Oh, Big Love! I she remember that show. She catches the you know the, the jizz. Remember the show Hunk? I didn't watch that show. Really? No. That was a funny show. So in it. She has that situation. She blows the dude or what have you. Uh-huh. That shit goes down. And the guy that she blew was the, he, he was the director, the writer, bang roll. He, he was the fucking Tommy Wiseau of this shit. Jesus. And <laughs> she Lana Del Rey herself. The fucking, he had, it got reviewed by um, Roger Ebert. Uh-huh. And him and Vincent Gallo was the director. They went back and forth. And Gallo was like, um, to his review, uh, He's like, you know, Brown Bunny, as far as Eber said, the Brown Bunny is a shitty film. It's a really bad film and explained why it was bad. Yeah. So, uh, this is Gallo was like, yeah, I curse your, you know, your intestines with cancer. I want you to have cancer and all this different shit. Oh. And Eber's response was gold. He's like, well, you know, I may have cancer because I'm fat or some version of that. He's like, but you'll still be the director of that bad movie. It, it was 10 on 10. Yeah. But all Which of Which was movies, better, that or Showgirls? I only I've seen all of Showgirls. I've only seen that last scene from the Brown Bunny. Brown Bunny was a shit movie. Okay. Um, Showgirls was horribly acted, but the director is good. You know what's funny? You know who directed that, right? Yeah, Paul Verhoeven. Verhoeven. Yeah. You know what's funny? I defend Showgirls. I don't think it's a bad movie. Uh, I think you're making that up. I think it's a parody. No, I think it is too. I yeah. Having to crack. Man, everybody got A's and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but but from for for but Elizabeth you can't Berkeley, say that in a serious tone. But for Elizabeth Berkeley coming from like Saved by the Bell and going to a movie that in many regards was like NC seventeen. It was NC seventeen. I mean, you had some cuts that are, but yeah. Well, it ruined NC seventeen films for good. Yeah, and it was just like bad, like that pool scene. That pool scene. I've never seen a female. 
I never seen a sex scene like that before. Ever in a film. Like she was gyrating like a fish. Like a dead fish. She literally started the Bernie. Like if she ever <laughs> she started doing the Bernie. Like if she ever came out of nowhere and said, Okay, you know, the Bernie was started by me. I did it underwater. <laughs> here's video evidence. <laughs> like here's video evidence. Here's my titties out. I did it first. He like Tom McLaughlin can sign off on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> he can't. He, he, can't, well. he, he can't. You can't unsee stuff like that. The like you remember that rape movie. scene? Like that was just like unnecessary. It was not a good movie, but I do agree that it's yeah, it's yeah. It's and I just like, and then when I hated the ending of the film, that's the one thing I absolutely. Because it just kind of just ended, right? Well, no, because after she gets raped. He she goes to the hospital. She sees her. Then she plots some revenge. Instead of going to the cops, cause oh. you know she's a horrible person. Instead of going to the cops and like, okay, what I did was shitty. I'm gonna help my friend now, cause she got raped. Mm-hmm. She goes to the rapist's house. She puts clown makeup on her nipples and she starts kicking the dude to death. I don't remember the scene. Yes, Holy fuck. yeah. She put like clown makeup on her nipples and start like kicking them in the groin and whatnot. She went then full, she went. Full doink with she it? went back in the hospital. She kissed the girl on the cheek and then she left her. Was it the black girl? Yeah. Yeah, that, that whole like I think. By the way, have the you, movie's long. Too. Yeah, yeah. Have you noticed in that film she is a dick to every black person in the film? Yes. Yeah, but is. they all love her. She is. She is. <laughs> that, that, that's the thing that bugged me because like they are at a bar or something and the yeah. one black dude in there is like, "Hey, what's going on, sister?" And I was like, "Ugh." Yeah. And then that one, like, I made a dance for you, and they were just literally improvised. Like, why the fuck is that a thing? Like, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. That's. I think that's why we have that black exploitation clip. Yeah. all the time like in any of these shows like you see how people are depicted in movies you're like yo why like I don't think this black person exists in real life no he doesn't like this nigga he's not there nah it's it's interesting just to see and then you saw he was with every blue eyed white girl in every scene who's, who's the dude for don't be a menace <laughs> you know, oh the whole tap one yes <laughs> My milk of magnesia. My milk of magnesia. <laughs> My, beautiful, <laughs> My beautiful vanilla queen. All that uh, shit. Yeah. So yeah. Um, as far as um, other content, like you said, you touched on TV shows. What other TV shows did you have? You been trying to catch up on? Because I'm behind. You heard I'm right behind now. too. I just finished Punisher. I loved Punisher. Good. I thought it started off slow, but the last four episodes will make you want to watch the Care Bears. To make oh, your mind, yeah. Yeah, that was good. We saw uh, that. We saw that. yeah. I, the last four episodes made me want to watch a Care Bears episode just to rehabilitate my brain. After that, Is that, violent? that was a lot of blood. <laughs> that was a lot. Now that one scene where he poked the guys and gouged them out like it was Game of Thrones, I was like, holy shit! <laughs> it, 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 yeah, like the first episode, he used a hammer and just uh, you gotta watch it. It's good. I, I will. Uh, I finished Jessica Jones. I had issues with it. The second season? Yeah, it's not better than the first, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I know that show has issues in it. Like, there were things in that I couldn't really bang with. Yeah. Uh, like, just from the beginning, it's just like, really? Like, the first episode, I get it, it's supposed to be trying it was to sl- all this. It was slow. It's slow until they get to the twist. And once they get to the twist, it gets. Isn't dead. Huh? Kilgrave's not dead. Kilgrave is dead. Or is he just in her head? Just in her head. That was a great episode. I won't spoil it. The, the problem head. with that, Kilgrave can't die in the comic, though. From what mm, I remember reading. No, he can't. So it's just like, eh, it's just kind of cheap. Well, I mean, they're bringing it to a real life perspective, even though they technically have the fucking hand, which is the worst villain to ever bring to anything. Do not. Bring the fucking hand back. Sorry. Fair enough. I hate the hand. I hate the hand. I fucking hate Which the hand. Which hand? Left hand or right hand? The clan. What about the foot? The foot is much better than the hand. Okay, how about the feet? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, let's, let's talk, let's talk about like fetishes. Let's, let's no, talk, no, no. Uh, let's talk about fetishes. Come on. All right, go ahead. Okay, I don't like feet. We talked about this earlier. Yeah. Why, what is your thing with feet? I don't know. It's weird. I I, I don't know. I, I don't just think it's weird. Fetish I mean, weird. like I just have a foot fetish, and just I don't have a foot fetish to the point where I'm a smell a girl's shoe. 
or I'm gonna try to track somebody's feet or anything. Like that shit's fucking weird. I remember this um this uh article I read in a uh, freshman year of college. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't test well, and um, I was put into a remedial English class, yeah. and I was like, I need to get the fuck out of here. These motherfuckers can't spell. Yeah. So we I've had to there. read this fucking like like passage and um, from the passage basically kind of write a quick review on it mm-hmm. and it was about this whole like mindset of why guys have a foot thing mm-hmm. and it broke down like foot binding it broke down uh it broke down foot binding it broke down uh high heels and it broke down like these uh ankle things that some african cultures have mm-hmm. and it was like these really heavy brass ankle things that i had like, brass like they're not shackles they're jewelry but they're heavy yeah and he said then all of them it restricts how fast a woman can run from you jesus and i was just like interesting that is very interesting and i I was just like i don't care she don't have to run i don't like feet fuck them (laughs) them all so yeah um i guess since you since you have your one out there i guess i'll embarrass myself a little bit go ahead i have a hand fetish really i made that up i do not i don't have hands um, That's disappointing. I can get really gross with it. Let's not get gross. Damn, shit. Do you want to get gross? Nah, not really. Oh. Uh, let's see. Let's get gross with feet. Gross I with feet. Think that this would be typical. You probably would call me. Uh, <laughs> you probably call me Kodak for saying this. Nope. Don't want to hear it. Really? Is it a complexion? No, no, it's not a complexion thing. Go ahead. It's an exoticness thing. Fuck you. What do you mean? Fuck you. What do you mean? Go ahead, explain your exotic fetish. I, I, I don't like typical. So in it, if someone, what do you mean by typical? Like they can't be just straight black? No, 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 not even that. Not even that. What do you mean by exotic? Okay, fetish? look at who I date. Okay. She's obviously black. Yeah. She's obviously the same color as me. Yeah. So it's not the complexion thing there. Well. But does she not look like she got some other shit going on? Oh, so you like. The pr- idea of there's more to it than it just has more to the story. Gotcha. Okay. That's what it leads me to. It's not like oh shit, she looks like this. Like, like one one of the things I really dig, like something that would fall into like this this fake exotic idea I'm kind of presenting. Mm-hmm. Like it could be like a super like dark as a thousand midnight. She was fucking in the Wakandan guard. Yeah. But she speaks French. I'm like oh. Gotcha. Yeah. She's killer to me. <laughs> Just kill it to me, man. Yeah. Have any games you're interested in? I've not touched a game in a while. Dude. Jesus. Only thing I have interested is what? God of War. I don't even play Fortnite. I think Fortnite is ass. Like, it's just another game that people are playing now because Twitch players are playing it. All the cool kids are playing it, right? Yeah, because they see Twitch players playing it. The Golden Retrievers are playing it, too, right? <laughs> Shout out to the Golden Retrievers for beating Virginia. Yeah, now that fucking loses. Oh no! This is they beat a number one team. Yeah, Give them that. Nah. We were in the fucking what, what restaurant were we, were, we in? We were in Terps. We were in Terps and watched. You were there creeping on the chicks. You were creeping on the chicks. Not you really. were telling me, Greg, go ahead, shoot your shot, shoot your shot. <laughs> and you were like, Rob, should I pay that bill? Should I pay that bill? <laughs> 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 you don't want to play those games. <laughs> but it was it was it You're like, really yeah, bad. Greg, shoot that shot, baby. <laughs> go over there. Talk to that. Post Talk up. to that girl. Post up on her. Say, hey, big head, what you want? <laughs> <laughs> but it, it felt really bad because I was like looking over there. I was like, all right, I can see the game from this angle. I don't want them to think I'm looking at them. <laughs> yeah, well, you had the wrong seat in the restaurant. I had the worst seat possible. Yeah. Yes. So, um, but yeah, shout, shout out to them. They did win. The thing that I thought was kind of funny was like the one really tall white boy that I'd not see play one minute in that game. Oh, was talking the most shit. Yeah. The best thing about being on the bench when it comes to you get to come shit talking. Yeah, you always get. To be, you're the best shit talker when you're on the bench. You get to be Birdman. Yes. Well, <laughs> think of it this way: the greatest bench players, Brian Scalabrini, got his own nickname. Ha, ha, White Mamba. Yes, White Mamba. The one guy, Robert Sacri for the Lakers, got his own nickname. He's the towel man. Like, is he? Yeah. <laughs> Holy like shit. he literally waves the towel almost every game they were in. Ten on ten. Like. Ten on 10. When you're on the bench, you have the best chance for celebrations. You can talk the most shit. You come with the most handshakes. Yeah, like you get to be Damon Jones. Basically, except don't get a bar of soap thrown at you. Who got a bar of soap thrown? Damon Jones. Really? JR. No, it was soup. I'm sorry. 
J.R. Smith threw soup on him. <laughs> that's funny. I lied to you not. That's why he got suspended for three games. So he that's why he's co- so he's coaching. Like yeah. So he's not on the team. He's an assistant gotcha. coach now. Gotcha. He's getting them checks. Him and Jawan Howard. Jawan fucking Howard. Yeah. So you got any final things before we wrap up here, man? We kind of went all the way through. Huh? Yeah, we did. Straight raw. Don't say that. No. <laughs> Don't put that out there. <laughs> So, what we got planned for the weekend, sir? Oh, yeah, we're going out to California, sir. sir. We are. Yeah. One of the things that uh, we both are into, we're both big uh, wrestling marks. Wrestling marks. Wrestling. Wrestling. You know, kicking, punching, and moots. Grappling. Sweaty guys and not much clothing. Females also. Are females any, wrestle. Are any females wrestling at this event? The other event we're going to, yes. There's another event we're going to. Yeah, this we're going to the thing. no, we're going to the big show. But we all, but before we go, like yeah. what? No, we're going oh. to the. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the big event. Okay. And before we go to the big event, huh? Are we going to Strong Style Evolved? Uh, yes. Yeah. New Japan. New yeah. Japan Strong Style Evolved. We're going Where? to that. This is in Long, Long Beach. Beach, California. Oh. Walter Pyramid. Getting that, getting on that flight tomorrow. Yeah. Get it out there. Afternoon. Before we go to that show, we're going to a low down Ricky Dink indie show. That's why all these fuckers have been hitting me up on Facebook? Yes! Oh, so y'all going to that show too? Yeah. yeah. That's here though. That's in, that's in Cali as well, right? Yeah, there's another one in Cali. Oh, I was going to uh, NCW? NCW? Nah. Uh, just, you know, well, yeah, <laughs> after the cease so that's and desist. Right? Yeah, so that, yeah. Yeah, that's tomorrow. Yeah, we won't yeah. be able to make that one. Cause, what, cease and desist? Yeah. NCW? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're, we're, we're low level, but somebody ran into it. I was like, wait, hey, we're not really came known. From a, a call or it was a, it was an email. Okay. I was just like an official email. It was an that? official email. <laughs> I was like, well, we're a troublemaker. That's good though. It is. That means you got on their radar. <laughs> and Darby Allen's gonna be a dead event too. <laughs> That's what we got into the shit for because we were talking about Darby Allen at one of their events. He was talking. <laughs> Cause his promo, his promo was so bad, and then one guy just literally yelled out, "Shut the fuck up!" And he, wow. yeah, yes. he yelled out, "How did he not get in trouble? Like, why did we get in trouble?" Because he, <laughs> Wait. Cause I'm, I'm so pissed about that. Yeah. <laughs> we are on the. <laughs> okay, so y'all go to the matches. Y'all allowed at the matches? Are you with the with the wrestlers? We're no, just we're just saying, those guys. No, no. Actually, no. We were literally watching the matches, and then we just kept. C- Cracking jokes because that promo was too funny, and we and we didn't realize the promoter was right next to us the yeah. whole time we were talking all this shit. Yeah, that mind you, there steaming like piss. Mind you, I love going to the shows, but that show was absolute shit. It was like a bad they, show. that was a bad show. But like we had to meet Will Yeah, we did. No, Zack Saber Jr. Now, yeah, what, was was the main, what was the main event? Uh, Keith Lee versus Leo Rush. Yeah. Okay. And that's when Keith Lee almost had a heart attack in the ring. Stop. <laughs> Stop. No, man, his breathing was, it was like, oh. He was like, oh, man. Oh. He was like, oh. Uh, uh, doing the damn. I'm like, did you smoke a cigarette before you match? Yeah, cold. <laughs> It's 34 and 300 pounds. 330 pounds. Oh, yeah. I enjoy bad. indie shows because they're I intimate. They're, in, yeah. they're intimate shows. Yeah. I mean, anything that has like that indie spirit. And like, the crazy thing is, I hate crowds that talk a lot. Like, yeah. I no, I hate the crowds that do bad jokes. Like they try to do the same jokes over and over again. Like when I went to a Ring of Honor show, mm-hmm. there's this one guy. I was here. Yeah. It was at the one in Brooklyn. The oh, right. in Brooklyn. And he just started cracking jokes like, yeah, you know, he sucks. <laughs> and had his laugh. Like, his laugh was, <laughs> the like, whole suck. time. I'm like, stop. <laughs> Before I throw was this he loud? Yes. <laughs> and he was trying to get the wrestler's attention. Yeah. Like, he saw, what, Faye Jackson, yeah. the female Enzo. <laughs> But with the nice assets. Remember, remember when uh when they had uh, the Tanahashi versus uh, Billy Gunn and they was doing that old bit. Ace versus ass. Yeah, and someone comes saying, Jesus. "Go ass!" <laughs> it's just funny shit to me. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I laughed a lot. In fact, that somebody was first cheer for him. That's funny. Yeah. That is true. And it was forty-three year old Billy Gunn. I mean, Huh? 43. 40? He wish he, he wish he oh, was 43. Really probably, he probably be 53. 53 yeah. year he old. He definitely he wish he was 43. So, I mean trips is on. He was head. back knee. He'd really have like, a whole nother run if he knee was 43. <laughs> he he was full back knee out. Yeah, he was it wasn't good. <laughs> no famous. <laughs> he couldn't get it. He, <laughs> at 
actually he could have. He almost yeah. killed Tanahashi. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's I was like, upset. The first match they had it was a two night event. So the first night was like a tag match. Billy Gunn like did a suit like a power bomb on yeah. Tanahashi, landed him on his neck. I was scared shitless because if Tanahashi is out, then we're all fighting Billy Gunn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let me let me ask y'all something. Okay, so I'm working my way up to current time uh -huh. on WWE. ETV. Sure. Mm -hmm. So I'm at Royal Rumble. Okay. Okay. Really good. So, so here's my 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 thing, and I, I needed somebody to talk. She she didn't know what's going on, so I couldn't tell her. But I just feel like they pander to the fans so much, mm -hmm. and they give you this which you always want, and, and then and then to me it fell flat. I'm talking about the winner of the Royal Rumble. Are you talking about Nakamura? Yeah, I, I mean, he's cool. Yeah, yeah. He should have won the fucking Royal Rumble. Ooh. No, no. You could have gotten the AJ you're Styles talking, and him match without giving him the Royal Rumble. You're talking what? to two Shinsuke marks, yeah, too. Shinsuke. I mean, listen, he, okay, I, <laughs> he I just, shit in WWE. I don't get yeah. it. Did you get it? Because I don't get it. Wow, I might vote with Ray Mysterio because that's mine. Well, you couldn't give it to Ray Mysterio because he's not going to be around. But right. well, well just right. it however, he did look good. Oh yeah, he's, he's in great shape. Weight, yeah. Side note: Ray Mysterio was going to be at this yeah, damn he, show, he but he tore his, his bicep. Tore his bicep. What happened? He tore his bicep. See, he tore his exactly. bicep. I knew he wasn't going to be around. Who's that jumping out the boat? <laughs> but Ray Mysterio. But his leg is broken. <laughs> but the, but here's my thing. He's going to okay. be there to eat. I now. mean, I get it. How much does he weigh? Who Nakamura? Yeah. Uh, Nakamura's like 230. That's soaking wet. Yeah. I would say he's more like 220. <laughs> yeah. But he's tall. He's 6'2". Yeah. yeah. I just... That's a main eventer to you in WWE? AJ is 206. Yeah, but he doesn't seem like it. Because AJ, AJ he's like short. Yeah, yeah. He, he's AJ built, is yeah. my height on. I mean, he's like, he, all I say is he's built like a running back. Did you see their match at Wrestle Kingdom? That's no. Why that should, no, no. That I know it's going to be a great match, match. But did you have to? So looking at this, I look at everything from a booking standpoint. Way. You did not have to give him the Royal Rumble to get him and AJ in a match uh, at WrestleMania. I'll put it this way. Because if it wasn't him that was going to win, it was going to be Roman. You can't. That would have been booed out of the building. Yeah. I like the I like the way they did it. Yeah. Yeah. You couldn't give it I mean, to Cena. Who, who would you have rather have had then? Because Seth. No, I don't need Seth. Mm, not for AJ. And, not and yet. Seth's not face yet. runs are terrible. His face runs terrible. Okay. Because you're just waiting for him to turn because he's naturally a heel, I think. There's a lot of people. He's like naturally that. a heel. So I say this because you Shinsuke is still relatively new. So you still need to put him over as the competitor. Because people were still upset about the gender losses. Like the two gender losses. Because yeah. they were like, he's buried. He's yeah. not buried. He's he, not buried. Yeah, he beat Cena clean. But people forget that. He almost killed Cena too. He almost did kill Cena. Which was he's very him on his fucking awkward. Match. In, in, in a, or like a Smackdown? Smackdown yeah. Yeah. It was a great match. But that one. It was a main event match? Yeah. yeah that one explosion. After suplex. WrestleMania or before? This was. This had to be after some. Right, no, it was to, prior I, to SummerSlam. I haven't seen this. Yeah, yeah, prior to SummerSlam. But he did drop him like on his fucking head. Yeah, huh. but yeah, they let him be Cena clean, and then he lost two matches to gender, which a lot of people took as oh they're burying him. He's still the relatively new guy, minus his work at NXT. So but that's just how they do. You, you gotta lose some matches. Yeah. 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 Cause, I mean, it's, it's similar to I think how they. But he's been protected loss. well because yeah. his losses have been dirty. Yeah, <laughs> it's not like he's been pinned clean one two three. Just like Oscar, Oscar. If anybody who didn't need to run the rumble, it was Oscar. I didn't think Oscar needed to win that rumble because she still has to undefeat it. She's so, still undefeated. So it, go, it goes back to: Do you need the win to get over, or should it go to the star? To me, whenever they do the this is going to get you over, it's bullshit. Like the uh, uh, Andre the Giant <laughs> Battle Royal. Oh, or, no, that's just you know what awful. I mean? This brawl for all Remember or whatever. Cesaro that shit doesn't get people over. Cesaro won with the second one, right? The first one. Oh, the first one. A star needs to win. To me, that doesn't get you over. It's good hardware once you're over. Yeah. Because you, you put, I don't know, who's who's... Uh, what was the guy's name? Uh, Fandango. If Fandango won the Royal Rumble, he wouldn't be over. 
No. They, they tried to put him over by having him be Jericho. Jericho. Which was was some, a couple years ago. That was some straight bullshit. It was bullshit, yeah. yeah. It was. I was so mad about that. I hated that WrestleMania, too, because that was, was Rock Cena, too. It was not a good Oh, my Rock, God. Okay, you didn't like Rock Cena? I liked the first one. one. Rock Cena one, one was good. The yeah. second one was, second one was abs ass abs. cheeks. It was yeah. just spam finishers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> the A double plus A. Oh. Yeah, I think, like, in the last, what, maybe four or five rumbles, like, has the winner really mattered? Because you know... No. Well... Oh, what's the name could have won? I just thought about it. I, not, um, um, what's his name? Uh, from, not Sami Zayn. What's the other dude? Kevin Owens? No, he was number two. I think he was number two entrant. Finn. Finn. He could have won. Mm. I'm okay with him as going for the IC yeah. belt. I think he needs to build his way up. Yeah. Because I, I don't believe him. Injury issues, and he's already been a universal champion. And plus, y'all don't believe new, him. My new Japan experience with him, he's a junior weight. He's a, he's a little guy. Yeah, he's a little guy to me. Like, he's a buck. I won't say that to his face. So is Rey Mysterio. Yeah, I never believed him as a champ, world heavyweight champ. I thought Rey Mysterio? Yeah, I thought that was a joke. Him winning the heavyweight title. Like, the heavyweight title. I was like, Listen, really? if you win, you win. It's not about, I, I think that the weight thing is dumb. It's like, if you win, you win. Yeah. That's it. If you well, pin me, you pin me. If that's the case, get rid of the weight class section on the title. I agree. That's no, you gotta say heavyweight because it's just that's just what people say. Yeah, but it's just. But they did. They did take out like heavyweight. It's just universal title. It's like yeah, it's uni- I hate that name by the way. It's, it's better because it's universe. It sucks. Yeah. The I remember them go global. Oh wait a minute! I just realized. The universe. That oh, yeah. I did. That's it's corny. Bad. That's bad. corny. I didn't even yeah. think about that. That's why that's the main event title at the moment, not like the numbers. actual WWE title. That's I mean, some ass backwards shit, by the way. Just good looking belts, though. Huh? There's some good looking belts, though. The f- not the Universal. The black one. Yeah. The, black the WWE one yeah. looks good. I hate the Universal. Why it's too is 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 your guy over so much? Shinsuke? Um, no, 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 no. What's his name? Uh, 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 the Russian guy. I can't think Rusev. of Rusev. Why was he over so much in that arena? What the fuck was going on? Ru- one, Rusev is very likable. On and off the screen. Is like, Rusev Day every day? Yes. <laughs> every day is they, Rusev they have a calendar Day. That it's just pictures of him throughout the calendar. Every day is just listed as Rusev, Rusev Day, Day throughout the calendar. So if yes. he had won, that would have been over in that arena? Yes. <laughs> It would have been very. It would, the crowd would have erupted if he won. That's crazy. And the fact that he has like in the, English, he was yeah, just like being it, well, not used. yeah. It's the funny fact of him being just a stereotypical foreign heel, just so John Cena could pin him. <laughs> and then after Cena pin him, he really was like on death's row. Really, yeah, I thought he was gone. They hit yeah. him to cut his hair. They hit him that he got married. Well, the marriage part. I liked really, him getting married. I liked him and her together. Yeah, the she's not back part, no more. She's, so she's still there. She oh, wrestles now. But her wrestling is trash. Her she wrestling can't wrestle. is. Yeah, she, they forced her to wrestle. Yeah. And then remember those how the accent is like she's talking very. Well, now foreign. she's very Tennessee ish. Is that where she's from? Yeah. She's, she's from Florida. <laughs> she's from Florida? She's from South Florida, yeah. <laughs> CJ Parker is from Florida. Oh, man. No wonder she was right, a right. banshee. In but a lot like of movies. She she's probably closer to how she was with her run with Dolph Ziggler than how she's depicted on the fucking. That's her. Yeah. Same person. Yeah, and then she switched. Right, 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 right. Yeah, because right, right, they right, got right. married and they were like, "Oh shit, we can't run the gimmick now." La- last question I have for y'all, and I know y'all know, because do y'all like New Day? I love New, I Day. Love New Day. All right. Took a while though. So took a while for you. Yeah. What's with the pancakes? Because I missed that. They just randomly they just did it. Randomly doing like, Big E just puts them in his fucking jock strap and just gives them to the weird. fans. That's weird. It's very weird because the fans weird. eat it. Yeah, like, that's some weird, weird shit to me. Like, you're eating somebody's bald but, pancakes. But I think they're having to crack the, in, a, in a way of kind of showing how over they are by doing bullshit like that. Yeah, like, they can get I like so the trombone. The trombone was cool. Francis. The pancakes are weird. Pancakes are very weird. Yeah. And, and, and a bunch of, they had a bunch of them on a plate. Yeah. <laughs> I like how in the Royal Rumble would he use that to not get eliminated? I like how Kofi has a different spot yeah. every Royal Rumble. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, like I like Naomi's. That. Naomi's was good. Can they break them up? For different reasons. Um I hope not. Is Kofi a star or not? Kofi should be. My, Kofi's being used less. My less opinion less. of Kofi is Kofi should have been at least given a WWE championship title match. Not a win. One. 
I believe he should win. I don't see. Is he an intercontinental champion? He's been an intercontinental champion since who knows how long. To me, he's a WWE champion because he fits all the boxes you want. He sells your merchandise. He can cut a really good promo. He's very good with children. He can sell. He got better. He didn't yeah. always do a good promo. Well, that's because they had him do that bullshit Jamaican accent. Okay. That, that, was, that was really good when he fucking. And then Triple up. H was like, wait, aren't you Jamaican? He's like, <laughs> 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 You realize that shit. But I don't, I don't think you. I, I think they may get broken up soon, but well, they if, got plans. They yeah, got everything if, they can do with them. If anything, I think Big E will be the one who gets the title match. They wasn't. They was not supposed to be over. Yeah. No. I don't know how it worked because when I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, this well, is yeah. horrible. Well, and then three weeks later, I was like, all right, this is all right. This is all right. <laughs> I think it was once they realized, okay, this gospel gimmicky bullshit is not going to work. Trash. Let's ham it up to like 11 mm -hmm. so people can see that we're just lovable faces but they're gonna boot the shit out of us I think that's what I loved it I think it was Dusty with the polka dots yeah I think that they was like okay we want to bury them with this. This is a joke for us. I think they was all laughing at them. Uh -huh. And then they was all in. Yeah. And then the shit really worked. Yep. They had one of those closed door black wrestler meetings. Right. And, he said, and they was like, you know what? Up. We won't fucking do this shit for real. Yeah. yeah. And they turned it all the way up. Now look at them. They sell the merchandise like that. Yeah. I mean, fucking ice cream, cereal. They branched off. They got their own fucking cereal. Yeah. Not a good cereal. Yeah. But they got their own cereal. Yeah, cereal. Yeah, yeah Bootios. Bootios. I think that's real. One WrestleMania, they came out of a big ass box of bootios. Bootios, yeah, that's a real cereal. It's an FYE. <laughs> okay, take Because they it's make like sure what, you ain't booty. Dollars? Yeah. <laughs> bootios, make sure you ain't booty. All right, so um, that being said, sir, what's, what's the, step uh, one? Step one. There, there, there is no step. We talk about step one. So step one. Okay, Stephen A. <laughs> 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 and we're out. Hey, we even do the clip for the movie. I like my clip. Chose a good clip this time. Sounds dirty to the Did you not see the clip? Uh, I didn't watch it.